like what percentage of like landfill space in America do you think is taken up by discarded Funko Pops? Oh my god, uh, 10 years from now? Just imagine 100 years from now when they're figuring <laughs> like out what the yeah, beginning of the 21st century was. Most of the ocean is yeah. Funko Pop. That is the Yeah, that's the one thing that uh, Steven Spielberg should go back to if uh, AI and add in some <laughs> Funko Pops at the bottom of that ocean <laughs> next to that robot. <laughs> yeah. And they would be they would be Funko Pops of his movies. It would be <laughs> floating down in that water. You'd see, oh, it's it's a Funko Pop of of Tom Hanks from Catch Me If You Can. <laughs> oh, it's that would be oh, yeah worth worth going back into AI. Yeah, he should he should uh, do a special edition of AI. Add in some add in some Funko Pops polluting the bottom of the ocean. Unless that kid was a Funko Pop. Oh, maybe. Yeah, just like a very advanced one. Yeah, yeah a sentient Funko Pop. <laughs> now, you and I have, uh, we've talked about different projects over the years, right? We've we've talked about things. and Yes. We had yeah, one that yeah. never got off the runway. That is one that I'm hoping now, post uh, Borat, I could get, maybe get going. Um, which was basically, it was an idea that you and me and Andrew Weinberg from Eagle Heart uh, had and talked about for a while. That was basically, you know, um, when you're in like a gas station, there's like that um, that painting of like all the mob guys together, like Scarface and the Goodfellas and the Godfather and the Sopranos. You know that. Mm. that oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it would be like that, the movie, where... It would be like every mob guy uh, who's ever lived, who's ever been in a movie, to teaming up using, I guess, like deep fake uh, technology for you know the ones who were dead. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would be called the Big Whack. And actually, we came up with it a few years ago, and the idea was to do like a Kickstarter to raise like two hundred million dollars because the movie would almost certainly make like a billion. Oh, this, I, and I'll say this. We laughed a lot about this idea and had a great time, but I think the reason we were laughing about it and having a great time was because we knew this was not a joke for the sake of a joke, but a viable idea that was potentially would be the biggest thing that could happen. I think it's like in hindsight, I do think, uh, yeah, it seemed crazy, but also it seems like probably the future of movies is <laughs> just seeing, just combining brands. And there was something uh, very exciting about taking stuff that's like not garbage, uh, like Goodfellas and The Godfather, and turning it into garbage. Yes, taking these taking revered actual good films, <laughs> yeah, like like and... well maintained and artistic franchises that happen to be popular and just kind of like yeah just kind of um exploiting them as ip and destroying like and to, to the point that um goodfellas would just be like considered a prequel to the big whack yes and the so basically the gist of what the big whack was would be what I think it was, well, back then it was, this even seems quaint now, it was a couple of years ago, it um, it was that ISIS had bombed uh, Bada Bing, right? Yes. I think it was, there was an attack on the Bada Bing, which was a strip club in the Sopranos in New Jersey, and the threat was, the threat was, was huge to, was, to, yeah. to the Sopranos guys. And so then there was just like a lot of um, making offers that people couldn't refuse. And then, yeah, they had they made like an Avengers basically of just every mob guy. And I think Walter yes. White was in there too. I think just as like kind of a just throwing like a little bit of something extra, like a, like a wild card, where it would be like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah it was basically the Bada Bing gets blown up in a terrorist attack. So then, 
the 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 Tony Soprano and his crew start reaching out to the other mob bosses to team up yeah. to help fight this threat. And so it would be the kind of thing where he's like, we got to go to talk to uh, Don Corleone. And then there's like a sit down. It would be like the greatest scene in movie history. Yeah, where like you a huge, watched, huge uh, room. Could you imagine down. you watch a scene in a movie at a table, one side is Don Corleone and standing on either side of him is Michael and Sonny. And then, and they're just all back to life, by the way. Also, Sonny dies. <laughs> Sonny's fine in this now. And a yeah, cra- yeah. he's sitting across from Tony Soprano and Big Pussy and Paulie Walnuts and Christopher. I mean, who would and not watch this? I feel like it's an actual great idea. Yeah, oh, I think I if this was a movie, I would I couldn't wait to see this. Like imagine that trailer when it reveals So and you every, win? Yeah. <laughs> and then Don Carlo, I'm in. Like and then they're like, we're gonna need some help from Miami. And then suddenly yeah. it's like, say hello to my wolf. <laughs> like and then <laughs> we gotta get Scarface. And then Scarface is in it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be like It'd be call, the the Ir- call the Irishman. <laughs> It'd be the greatest thing. It'd be the greatest movie ever. And then, yeah, and then they're just like, "We got some guys in Brooklyn we should talk to." And then they then they go knock on a door, and then it's Robert De Niro as Jimmy from Goodfellas. Yep. Leota. And then Ray Leota is back. Oh my god! Like I'm getting giddy thinking about this as a movie. That's the thing is, like, it seems like at first, like, a, just a, a bad idea or a joke, and then you imagine mm-hmm. what that movie would actually be, and I guarantee you, there's no one in America who wouldn't uh, eventually see that movie. Who wouldn't? Yes. If if this movie was made, the big whack, all the mob figures team up to fight terrorism. And then it could it could bring the country together, actually. It kind of could bring the country together. If somebody was just like if like Christopher says to Tony, he's like, hey, T, you know, there's a guy out in New Mexico who's kind of got something going. We should probably bring him into it. And then suddenly it's like. Then it's like, I'm the one who knocks. So you knock, huh? You think you're a tough guy. You knock, right? Yeah, like, knock, knock. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> oh, knock, knock. And he's like, you think you're a tough guy? You're damn right I'm a tough guy. <laughs> and then he wheels that car up and the machine gun pops out of the back of the car. Oh, my God. You think I... You, let me see how tough you are. And then, the, then he's like... uh then he tells uh, what's his face to go get the car. What was his name again? His, his little pal, um, uh, Jesse Pinkman. Or no, no, uh, Aaron no. Uh, Paul. Oh, was another? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Jesse? But yeah, he goes to Jesse. I was thinking of uh, what? I was thinking of Jesse Plemons is the guy. Oh, he's well, that's there a, too. That's weird casting too. Where his name was Jesse Plemons and it's Jesse Pink. Look, <laughs> it's the most exciting scene. Jesse Pinkman pulls the car around. I, you want to see tough bitch? And then suddenly the trunk flies open. And then you picture Silvio just go like, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey, T, that was pretty tough. I think this can also save movie theaters. I think if it was like only in theaters, this if would be we, the movie that yes. brought people back. If it was It'd the kind like of thing where favorite. it's like, this will literally, they were not going to pull a tenant here. You're going to take your, you, 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 this is going to be in theaters only. And it's just like, you buy a ticket now until the day you can get in the theater. You better buy your ticket now. Cause we're like, there would be yeah. people, cause then you'd also have that interest that people, like, we'd be holding their money for eight months. <laughs> no, that's just, right. Yeah. Yeah. You'd make, you'd make your money back just on interest of pre sale. Yeah, just on interest because people are just like, I got a ticket 
for the 4.30 show on the first Friday that movies are back. <laughs> and we hold their money for eight months, just accruing interest. I'm telling you, the big whack. If there's any studio heads listening to this show right now, we figured did, maybe. Yeah. And a look, I'm seeing somebody uh, tweeting here. They want to know. Uh, yeah, what are they saying? You think you work in a little mob control of a puppet theater and get a uh, old Wally Wacky Man in there? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure about that. <laughs> you don't think there could be a scene when he's like, "There's a guy I want to talk to." There's a guy in New York I want to talk to. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind hey, of a Tony. it's kind of a niche reference. I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> I think that might be confusing. <laughs> hey, Tony, <laughs> Tony, I hate terrorists too. Yeah, well, you know what? Why not throw him in there, right? No, it's good. It's gonna, it's gonna be huge for him. Yeah, throw him in there. But if people I think, don't like it, they'll still be happy with with the rest of the stuff. The idea you picture the idea, like, what if what if Wally Wacky Man is in the? Because somebody just put a picture of the uh, the scene of De Niro kicking, <laughs> kicking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kicking Frank Vincent from uh and some of these guys would have to play multiple parts by the way. Yeah, Frank Vincent would be uh would be a number of parts. Yeah, and then, Frank uh, Vincent. Yeah, Pacino would obviously be uh, a bunch a bunch of characters like different be, ages. Yeah, he'd be Michael and Donnie Brasco and Scarface. Right. What if, what do we do about the whole uh, Johnny Depp issue? I guess he's he's the the cop, right? So he you didn't want him. He had no cop in this thing. Yeah, no. You wouldn't need to deal with the, the whole Johnny Depp of it all. But you just picture suddenly, like, like Wally Wacky Man shows up <laughs> and then opens his mouth and then there's, like, a pistol in it. Oh, that's good. Right? <laughs> that's really good, yeah. Yeah. Like, tell me if you felt this. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's really good that's really good so Wally is is he a, is there someone puppeteering him is, is Z-Man in this or is, is Wally like a sentient just a character in this We're gonna, we'll shoot it to where you know those weird scenes and these Muppet fans I tell you one's weirder than the next where they up, they accept those weird full body shots of Kermit that look like the strangest thing you ever saw in your life like yeah. trotting around and you see his like spindly legs moving so weird. No, it really so stands weird. out when, you see, when it cuts to the shots because you're just thinking uh, about how different it is than, than the rest of it, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to, we'll probably uh, get Z-Man uh, in, a, in a green uh, unitard and kind of so just, see just comp him out. Legs. Well, that would be, if he, if Wally, uh, first the idea of like a full body Wally Wackerman is very chilling, but then add to that <laughs> that he opens his mouth and there's a gun there. That you're not even implying he's a you know he's got someone puppeteering him is really disturbing. Maybe it's like a like a Tony Soprano dream or something. I don't, I don't wanna. Oh, I gotta watch. I can't eat before. I can't eat gobble goo before bed. Like, it's like a it? weird. It's a weird fantasy sequence in the big whack has Wally Wacky. Well, he's got whack in the name. Of course, he has to be in this thing. Right, he whacks men. So your name's Wacky, Wally Wacky Man, huh? What do they call you that? You want to find out? Because <laughs> I'll whack you, man. And so, <laughs> what if we yeah. just put Z-Man in a full Wally Wacky Man costume for certain <laughs> shots? <laughs> like, like the, I feel like that's a Muppet thing, too, or... Like you see them from afar, and suddenly they're much bigger and shaped differently. <laughs> well, we might as well go all the way with it then, and just embrace the weirdness of that. Yeah, because then maybe the we just have, maybe we have just like a full on five minute fight scene with Wally Wacky Man fighting <laughs> like like an actual fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> Because at one point maybe the families all break up and then they all they all have a big fight like in uh, a civil war like in a like a Avengers thing. 
they all so turn on each it, other. So you get to see what it's like when they all fight. Then they pull together for the big for the big thing for the big the, show off showdown. Then the question is: Do we think we could like work something out where? David Chase would not have to approve uh, how we use his characters or ever see the script, really. Yeah. We have to just do some some end run around him somehow to get him to be like, where the end result would be David Chase screaming at his agent and manager <laughs> and, and lawyer being like, how did this happen? Yeah. Well, I'll use how? my... Um, I'll use my trickster skills that I picked up on Borat, and we will uh, trick him into signing a release. <laughs> maybe we look. Maybe we throw Borat in this thing. Anyway, yeah, I think he's retired him now for good. But yeah, why not? We just we figure out a way that it's legal. We do. Yeah.